Well, they, 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 they would call us, but you would not quite know. You know, they could be booked through the secretary or this and that. The VIPs have a way of op operating without putting themselves out in the front. It's when you get there, you get to meet them. I've had a chance to meet uh, former Prime Minister Raila. That was a very good experience also because we were cleaning uh, some of his offices at uh, 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 Capital Center. One of my mentors is Dr. Manu Chandaria. Uh, he's been very, very supportive. He was very impressed when he saw our services. I used to always want to clean the White House in the US, which I didn't quite make it, but I made it to State House, Nairobi, which was something for our profile and it was quite exciting to get there. Uh, I got to clean Whitney Houston's uh, uh, travel bus. That was also something else, you know. Um, um, I also met the uh, staff. We say no jobs too small. If you call us to Lavington, we will show up. If you call us to Dandora, or Ziwani, we will show up. We, we don't turn down work. Another beautiful week to catch up on yet another story of hope by an ordinary Kenyan who is pointing us to the steps on the stairs that preceded the landmarks of success that he now celebrates. This week's episode is part two of the fascinating story of Robert Okubo, who for more than two decades now has been turning that into gold, one room at a time, one continent at a time.